Hey, how you doing? David Taub here. I hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today I have a cool lesson on major seventh chords and how you could really add them to your playing to help enrich in your sound and really bring some different chords and some different sounds into your progressions, into your playing, into your songwriting. You know, I always say having a very big chord vocabulary is really important. You have all these beautiful paints at your disposal, all these beautiful chords at your disposal, right? Because that's what we're doing. We're, we're painting the sonic landscape and all these chords have different um, moods to them. And major seventh chords are really interesting because they're very sweet sounding, right? They're very, very jazzy. No matter which ones I play, they all have that characteristic. And if I play, you know, the bar chord version or the open chord version, you know, you get that mood with them. Before you're rocking, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted, right? Leave a comment below. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like the video, please click the like button, share it, give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for your support. And oftentimes, especially early in our guitar journey, you know, we so work on our, you know, cowboy cards, G, E minor, C, D, A minor, right? Um, we don't really give the major seventh chords their due. And every time I show them to students in my private studies, they love them and they just can't stop using them. And it's like a whole new world has been opened up to them. So let's learn some and let's use them in some progressions. And then you could try them and put them in your progressions and substitute with them and, and really have fun with them. So just a little bit about a major seventh chord. It's built off the major. You know, major chords are made up of three intervals, a one or root, three and five, the first note, third note, and fifth note in a major scale, right? And with a major seventh, the formula is we have to add that major seventh note. So it'll be a one, three, five, and seven. For instance, uh, you all know your garden variety G major chord, right? And the G major chord is made up of the first note of the G major scale, G. And by the way, the major scale, Right, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. First note is G. The third note, the third is a B. And the fifth note is our D. G, B, and D. One, three, five. Those are the notes that make up any G major chord. Here's our G. Here's our B, right? And there's our open D. And then we have open G again, D again, and G again. G major. So we want to play a major seven, so we have to add the seventh note of the G major scale, the seventh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right behind, always a half step behind the root, so that's F sharp. So we need to add that note. So listen to G major. Now let's add that F sharp note. Right? Gives a whole nother mood to that chord. Now we have a sweet, jazzy kind of sound. Major chords, very bright, happy, right? Just going through some open major chords. All of them have that characteristic. Major sevens, see, they have that jazzy, sweet sound. Why wouldn't you want to add that beautiful sound, those beautiful chords into your playing, right? Right, they all have that characteristic or that mood. So let me show you a few major seventh chords that you could play in the open position here and um, add them into your progressions and songs and have fun with them. And then I'll give you some practice progressions so you have some application for these. Um, so one of the easiest major sevenths is you could play a C major seven. And all you do for that is play like your C major chord and just take off your first finger. So that adds the B note. That's the seventh in the key of C. You have a C major seventh. The chord I was playing before, G major seven. Right? You're going to play with your second finger on that G note, but I let it kind of fall a bit because it mutes out the A string. So let that finger kind of hook it, but let it fall down a little bit because you don't want that A string ringing. G major 7. D major 7 is another easy one. Just your first finger flat on the top three strings at the second fret. And then add the open D string. D major 7. F major 7 kind of looks like a C chord kind of voicing, but you're only playing the top four strings. So at the third fret, play that F note on the D string, second fret at A note on the G string, and first finger on that C note, first fret on the B string, and open high E, just those top four strings. 
F major 7. By the way, if you're not up in your guitar journey where you're playing the F chord yet, you can always substitute this F major 7 for an F chord, right? I know I used to do that when I was first learning to play, right? You come across a song or something with an F chord in it, you're like, oh, F chord, Psh, throw the whole song away, right? But hey, try substituting off and it'll work. It'll get you through using that F major 7. And A major 7, uh, I play it like this. All right, three fingers like an A major chord, but you gotta get that first finger back a half a step on that G string. Sweet, jazzy, dreamy. One of my students called uh, major seventh chords dreamy once. I thought that was pretty good. Pretty good description, dreamy. Before we get into some longer progressions, we'll start with some shorter ones. And a very common movement with major seventh chords is playing the major chord first, then going to the major seven. I'll give you an example. G to G major seven, right? And then I'll throw in afterwards a C chord, right? You'll probably recognize a lot of songs use this, but check out how that sounds. G, G major seven. To the, to the four chord in that, which is the C in the key of G, but, but if you listen to that G, G major seven. Right? Eagles do that all the time. They'll go major, major seven. And that works again no matter what key. Like if I go from a D chord to a D major seven. Right? You hear that beautiful major to major seven movement. And if I go to a G afterwards, just for the heck of it. Go to a G after that. Little progressions you could practice. Just to hear that major seven. Right? You do the same thing with C to C major 7 to F. Right? C, C major 7, maybe F major 7. Oh, I like that. One more time, C major. C major 7. F major 7. All right, um, let's try a little bit longer progression this time. G major seven, D major seven, to C major seven, to A major seven, why not? We'll just throw some stuff together for you. To F major seven, back to C major seven. Not that you would ever see that many major sevens in a row, this is more just practice, right? Getting comfortable with these chords and changing them. Right? And I was throwing in a little chucking. I mean, you could do it with strumming and arpeggiating. Right? Give it a little different sound. It's limitless what you could do. We'll do another progression. This time we'll add a couple minor chords. An E minor seven. And maybe an A minor seven. If you don't know A minor seven, just play your A minor chord. One way to do it, and then just take off your third finger. Flats the seventh, you have A minor seventh. All right, and then we'll use uh, D major seventh in there, C major seventh, F major seventh, G major seventh. All right, let's try something like that. Maybe, you know, something like this.
few progressions to get you going, to get you some application, to get you changing back and forth. So try messing around with them and, and, and memorize these major sevens and add them in and, and you'll find there's so many uses for them and they're, they're just so rich and beautiful and they'll really make your progressions start to come alive, especially if you're playing this, a lot of the same chords all the time. You really want to start expanding your chord vocabulary. Learn your major sevens. Learn your minor sevens, right? Um, and you could see like when I stuck that E minor in there, it's starting off with the dark chord, then going in to the pretty kind of jazzy major seventh. This is what music is all about, right? It's, it's, it's much more than just the logical application of theory and, and, and scales. There's an emotional part to it that's so important, right? And that's what, why all these different chords or all these different modes have a mood to them. And we want to use that to bring out these emotions, right, in our playing. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. And I hope you enjoyed these sweet, dreamy sounding major seventh chords. I really love them. Put your own twist on them. Use them. Have fun with them, right? Keep exploring and stay creative. Don't forget, subscribe to that channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. As well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. And don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my free killer ebook and video lesson on lead guitar soloing. Easy ways you could kind of spice up and enrich in your lead playing, right? Um, so get that video lesson and the ebook. The ebook has tons of scale diagrams, music theory. And if you get a second, check out my new record. I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. It's a slamming record. I'm really stoked about it. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. I would love for you to hear it. Um, it's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to all of that below. And if you have any questions on it, you know, the songs or maybe on the studio production or the gear I used or how I got those sounds, you know, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support over the years and years and years. So appreciated. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them, right? Give yourself plenty of fun time on that guitar. Swing for the fences. Keep on rocking. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on. Mm -hmm.